the very heart of Zagreb, dominating the beautiful triangle formed between the Mimara Museum, the West Inn Hotel and a popular Zagreb high school playground, the large white building of the University of Zagreb is situated. This is home to two faculties, the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology and the Faculty of Mining, Geology and Petroleum Engineering. At the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology, more than 1,000 students attend lectures, conduct practical and laboratory work, study and acquire knowledge, developing skills and competency they will need as future Bachelors of Food Technology, Biotechnology or Nutrition, or as future Masters of Biotechnology, Bioprocess Engineering, Food Engineering, Food Safety Management or Nutrition in related sectors of the industry. However, the beginnings of the study of food technology and biotechnology can be traced back to before this building was built. On the 26th of April in 1956, the Croatian Parliament declared the establishment of these studies, and as of the academic year of 1956-57, the first generation of students enrolled in the Department of Food Technology and Biotechnology of the Faculty of Chemistry, Food Technology and Mining. Since the development of specific technologies was fast and the number of students enrolling in the faculty was constantly increasing, the Faculty of Chemistry, Food Technology and Mining was further divided into separate faculties, the Faculty of Mining and the Faculty of Technology, and later in 1980, Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology was finally established as a separate autonomous faculty celebrating in 2006 its 50th anniversary. So let's go inside and see how the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology looks like today. The first thing that awaits students on entering are not lecture halls nor laboratories, but the student's restaurant. A place to take a break, have a cup of coffee or a quick meal between lectures. Next to the student's office there are the premises of the student's union branch office, where students gather, discuss various issues and make important decisions aimed at improving the conditions of their studying. They also organize various students' meetings and sports events there, arrange their website and the students' newspaper. In short, this is the students' own little space. If we continue our walk, then we come to the central part of the building, the part where all the lectures are held. We come to a big multimedia hall, which can seat around 200 students and is equipped with the latest teaching technological tools. At the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology, students can enroll into one of the three undergraduate studies offered. The study of food technology, the study of nutrition, or the study of biotechnology. Each course takes three years to complete and after graduating, students are awarded the title of Bachelor of Food Technology, Bachelor of Nutrition, or Bachelor of Biotechnology. Bachelors can then continue their studies at a postgraduate or master's level. There are five postgraduate and master's courses offered at the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology, which last for two years. Food Engineering, Food Safety Management, Nutrition, Molecular Biotechnology and Bioprocess Engineering. After graduation, students obtain their occupational master's degrees. In the education of our future bachelors and masters, special attention is paid to their practical work. Through laboratory practice, students first acquire the basic skills and competency in chemistry, physics, mathematics and biology, followed by a more sophisticated specialist training in molecular biology, biochemistry, genetics and microbiology. You can't be a well-trained expert without a solid basic knowledge and so everything begins with molecules, cells and fundamental chemical reactions. Through engineering modules, our students are trained how to apply their acquired theoretical knowledge to practical work. At this stage, the most recent methods of food preparation and manipulation, fermentation processes and other research in food engineering and bioprocess engineering are explained to our students and practiced. And it is the witnessing of the direct application of their acquired knowledge in practice that gives courses offered at the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology their special value. Still, we must not forget that every product needs to be examined and checked for its quality and safety. That is why there are a series of methods our students have to become familiar with in the analytical laboratories at the faculty. In various laboratories for food chemistry and quality control of food products, basic food ingredients and other micro and macro nutrients are examined. The laboratory for sensory analysis designed according to the ISO standard 85891988 has not only been set up for the students' practical work but also for educating future sensory analysts in the food industry. Lecture halls and laboratories are not all the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology has to offer. 
There is also a modern, well-equipped faculty council chamber, which is the seat of the faculty's council, and where important issues are constantly discussed on how to upgrade and improve lecturing and the scientific activities of the faculty. This is also the place where our students present their final graduation work, their masters and doctoral theses, crowning the end of their successful studies. At the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology, there is also the Faculty Library, equipped with a large number of occupational and scientific books, students' textbooks, scientific journals and magazines, a computer classroom, and last but not least, there is a large gymnasium which offers both students and the faculty's staff sport and recreational activities. We will finish our story about the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology with what is the ultimate goal of every student, and that is, of course, the graduation ceremony. But fortunately, every ending is also a new beginning. So our brand new bachelors and masters emerging from the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology will spread across the country and beyond, taking over the responsibility for the further development of creation industry. Some of them, perhaps the most curious ones, will continue their education at this faculty by enrolling in one of the four master's courses offered at the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology. A few years later, becoming doctors of science and armed with their PhD degrees, becoming bearers of scientific development in the Republic of Croatia. And all of them will always have one thing in common. Their strong ties with the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology the faculty they graduated from and which they will always be glad to return to.